Hi everyone, it's your favorite sad boy. I'm back. So, today we're talking about poetry books because I have some poetry books. Listen, literally, if you want to like recommend some poetry books, that's cool. But I literally just recently got into it. I had to read poetry books when I was younger and I hated it because I never understood it because I was given like Shakespeare and I, I can't read Shakespeare. I'm so sorry. I just like that Shakespearean language. I cannot understand it. I could barely understand English. How do you expect me to understand uh, Shakespeare? Anyway, so I have a few poetry books I wanted to talk about on my new channel. So if you're like interested in that, then go over there. But because we're here, I wanted to talk today about like just clarifying some things, I guess. So recently I've been talking about how Old Star Stable made me happy and how I used to have a will to live. <laughs> and I like, I was talking to somebody like IRL about it and they were like sadness is just a part of life or whatever and here's what I think I don't agree because yeah there is times where a sad thing happens and we are sad but I don't think it's normal when you're always depressed or sad and then they told me I need to like be on antidepressants I don't agree because I was, and it didn't make me happy. Because, for me at least, like, happiness doesn't lie inside of pills. It's inside of yourself, you know? You need to find happiness and stuff that makes you happy. And sadly, the only thing that makes me happy is horses. Don't get me wrong, I like poetry books. I like books. I like a lot of stuff. You know I love books, but I'm not like, I don't wake up because of it. You know what I mean? Like, I used to wake up because of horses. Like, that was my will to live. My will to live isn't somebody's poetry book. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I just hate when people are like, it's part of life. Like, bro, don't normalize being sad. Don't tell people it's normal to be sad all the time or it's normal to be stressed all the time because then you're basically saying that it's okay to be miserable all the time. That's not okay. Like, I, I think it's so sad how a lot of adults just settle and they're like, yeah, I'm miserable, but that's just how life is. No, it's not supposed to be miserable. Why are you miserable? Oh my god, that's so sad. Right? So then there's people who will say, like, you just need to, like, do XYZ and you'll feel better, but... That's not really how it works. So, yeah, I'd rather be happy instead of being miserable. And because of that, I don't do things that make me miserable. Because why make it worse for myself? I'd rather just not be alive then if I have to be miserable all the time. And, like, yeah, I am miserable playing Star Stable. But I'm not, like, on my last straw. So we'll just keep doing this until I'm not able to anymore. Because, as we know, like, I play Star Sable for a paycheck. I, I don't want to play this game. Whatever. So, just wanted to, like, I guess clarify that. It's, like, so sad. I literally had my sister, like, message a stable in my area so I could go volunteer to care for horses. And they won't even get back to me. Like, they just don't want volunteers. Like, even if you're willing to pay to care for the horses, like, no. It's just difficult because... They already have their own people. They already have whatever. And, like, I don't even want my own horse. I just want to be around horses. <laughs> it just is what it is. And people get mad and I say it is what it is. But, like, what else am I supposed to say? You know what I do hate, though? I hate when people say it could be worse. Because, like, yeah, it could be worse. But that doesn't make me feel better by saying that. It's also really bad to say it could be worse because... If you tell that to someone who's in a really abusive relationship, if they get hurt, they'll think, well, it could be worse, and they'll keep saying that every time they get hurt, and they'll stay in the relationship. So, yeah, you have to think about the things you say before you say anything, honestly, because, like, a lot of people, you know, the way they interpret things, whatever. So, whatever. I feel more comfortable saying it is what it is, because if you can't change it, then it is what it is. It's just really sad, though, and it really does, like, consume me how I can't really do anything about it. So, whatever. 
because like it makes me sad that I'll never be happy again like I thought about it like oh one day I will no I won't like if I like it's just not possible like for me to be happy in life would take so much and it's just not possible because like that train already passed I missed it you know like it's just yeah I don't know so I'm embracing being sad because it is what it is. I don't know what to say. It's just, it is. Like, don't get me wrong. I do love talking about books. I do love writing. But even when I get, like, really obsessed with writing and I'm, like, making my own stories and stuff, I love it. I do. It's a passion of mine. But it just feels like something's missing, you know? It just, there's nothing that compares to the happiness I got from horses. It just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like when I was around horses, like, I would just be instantly happy. So, like, mental health warning. I used to, like, self-harm and be really, really, like, sad. But then I got into horses and I didn't do that stuff anymore because horses, like, saved me. And now that I don't have that anymore, I'm like, oh, this is why I'm sad. Because I lost the one thing that made me happy. I lost my will to live. And that's why I'm sad. And nobody gets it. Like, it just sucks. Because, like, people will tell me, like, Oh, well, it is what it is. And, like, it is. I get it. Same. But people tell me how, Well, I had a passion. I didn't obsess over it like you. No, because you weren't... You didn't take it as serious as I did. Like, literally... Oh my god, I told somebody this one time, and they were like, Well, when I was a kid, I really wanted a Barbie doll that was cool, but I just forgot about it. Bro, don't compare a Barbie doll to a living, breathing animal. Are you serious? Anyway. Yeah, people don't get it. It's like, when you're into horses, like, you'll cry yourself to sleep if you can't have it. Like, I know of girls who, they would literally cry themselves to sleep if they couldn't afford their lessons. It's just when you love something, it just consumes you. You become that thing. It's just really hard for me right now because I've realized, like, I've been so confused these past few years. Like, why don't I feel happy? Why am I so depressed all of a sudden? Why do I want to self-harm again? Why do I want to die again? Why do I, why am I, like, so, like, why am I suicidal again? Like, I have problems, but, like, even without those problems, why am I still so sad like I used to be? Why am I empty again? And then I realized, it's because I lost horses. It's because I lost all of that. And that's why I'm back to square one. And it makes me so sad that, like, in order to be happy again, I'd have to go back to horses. And I literally can't do that. I'll never be happy again. And it's just so sad that, like, I'll never be able to, like, go back and be happy. You can't go back in time. You can't relive things. It's like... It's just tragic. I'm just, like, so sad. I feel like I'm just a walking corpse at this point. Like, I, I do love books. I love talking about books and writing and all that, but it's not enough. It's like a hobby, you know? Everyone has a hobby. But you need a passion. You need, like, a, like a, like a lifestyle, you know? I don't know how to put that, you know? Like, I know people who their hobby is painting, but their passion is rescuing dogs, you know? Like, my hobby would be, I guess, writing and books. But my passion would be horses. It's just when you have no passion, you fall apart. And then when you have no will to live because you lose your passion, you fall apart. I don't know. I'm just... It's just... It just hit me. Like, like I've been deceased since I turned 18. And I didn't even, like, realize it. Because I just got used to it, I guess. And it's just, like... I'm always fighting to be happy. Like, I could be happy again. But, like, I realized, like... I was happy because of horses. That was why. I was empty. I felt empty and depressed for so long. And then I found horses. And that brought me to life. I was waking up happy. I'd wake up smiling. Because I was just so happy to be involved with horses and play a horse game. And I lost all of that. Like, I missed the train. And I'll never get it back. And it's just, like, 
the realization of seeing that life isn't what it's meant to be is just so depressing and so sad. And I can't do anything to change it. I've tried. I really have. You know, I've tried getting in contact with stables. I've tried to find ways to afford lessons. I've tried to do a lot of things. It's just... It's not possible. It's just that sometimes life gives you a deck of cards, and that deck of cards is garbage. Um, so, yeah. I guess I'll go cry now. Um, I'll see you guys on the new channel, and next week on this channel, obviously. So, whatever. Bye.